the Skoda has finally revealed the Slavia sedan, a replacement for the aging rapid sedan. Based on the MQB platform, which also underpins the Skoda Kushak and Volkswagen Tiger. Skoda claims it has achieved a 95% localization for the sedan in India. Dimensionally, in comparison with its rivals, the Slavia is the widest and has longest wheelbase among, but leaves the top spot to the Honda City in terms of height and length. On the front, a signature grille flanked by sharper looking sleek headlamps with LED DRLs. The funky bumper adds muzzle to the design with fog lamps on either side. The sleek and lengthy head dam gives the car a wider look. There's a silver surround to the grille which also decorates the fog lamp enclosures. Moving to the side, the Slavia's roofline slopes neatly and smoothly to the rear boot. This gives the sedan a coupe-like stance. The strong character line that perfectly matches to the headlight and tail lamp. Overall, the side gets more curves and details which adds to the sporty appeal of the sedan. The Slavia will ride on 16 inch dual tone alloy that's limited to the top spec trim. At the rear, the sedan gets C shaped LED tail lamps that partly extends into the boot. The Skoda branding takes the full length of the boot lid, looks pretty nice. The rear bumper gets horizontally placed reflectors on either side, and a thick chrome strip running across helps the car look wider. The exterior design will help the sedan taking the top spot. The ultra modern exterior is also justified by the interior. The interior gets inspiration from premium Skoda sedans thanks to the large 10 inch touchscreen infotainment system taking the center stage. Below is a sleek rectangular finished AC vents. Unlike this, the side AC vents are circular in design. A piano black finish trim runs across the center of the dashboard, adds richness and premiumness to the cabin. The automatic climate control unit gets touch controls that's neatly lighted with digital display. Below, there's a space for wireless charging the smartphones. The Slavia also gets an all digital 8 inch instrument cluster. The steering is a two spoke one that we have seen in the Skoda Kushak. Being the segment leader in wheelbase, it should help in more legroom and comfort for the rear passengers. The rear gets AC vents with USB charging ports. The Skoda Slavia will be offered in three trim levels, Active, Ambition and Style. Safety features include six airbags, ESC, electronic differential system, tire pressure monitor, field hold control, a rear parking camera, multi collision brake and isofix child mounts. The new Slavia is being offered with two choice of turbocharged DSA petrol engines. The 1 liter unit producing a maximum of 150 horsepower metered to either 6 pin manual or a 6 speed torque converter automatic. The more powerful option is a 150 horsepower 1.5 liter 4 cylinder engine driven by either a 6 speed manual or a 7 speed DSG gearbox. The new Slavia is likely to be launched early next year with a price range between 10 to 16 lakhs showroom bookings for the sedan is starting today see you soon thanks for watching